So the next wrap we're going to go over is a lower limb wrap. So this is going to take 14 inch cotton. They marked it on our bag for us. So this wrap is going to be similar to a traditional standing wrap. This is just one you're gonna find in a clinical setting, typically with a horse that's had a ankle chip surgery or a horse that has a laceration to the lower leg. This wrap can be performed on a front leg or a back leg, as long as it's from the knee or the hock down. So we're gonna start with our non-adherent dressing. So we're gonna pretend this horse just had chips removed from his ankles. So you're going to put your non-adherent dressing to whichever part of the horse has your sutures. Once again, standing facing forward, not standing in front of your horse. Don't walk forward. So we're going to pretend that our sutures are on the inside of our ankle. So I'm going to take my white rolled gauze, rolling backwards. This is going to secure my non-adherent dressing. Once again, not getting it super tight, keeping our roll steady. I'm gonna go ahead and tuck our cotton here, hold it in place. So this is going to be our 14 inch rolled cotton in our rolled brown gauze. So front to back, this horse. So this horse is a smaller horse. Depending on your horse, you might need a 16 inch for a front. It just depends on how big of a horse you have. But 14 is a typical size. Always tuck the inside here. Always making sure you're leaving a one inch gap at the bottom and the top. You want your brown gauze to be tight or snug, not tight. Once again, leaving a one inch gap at the bottom and at the top. I typically make sure I'm going about half up, half down when I'm rolling up and down the leg, making sure there's a half space of a pull. And then I'm gonna tuck this at the top just till I get back with what I have next. Next, next is going to be my vet wrap. This is four inch vet wrap. It comes in a couple different sizes. Anything you're lap wrapping limb wise is going to be four inch. So getting that to lay flat, wrapping front to back again, making sure we're not pulling this vet wrap tight. It just needs to be snug. Where you risk a bowed tendon while wrapping is if you pull one of your wraps tighter than the other. So trying to keep a consistent pull each wrap. Typically you'll see the last wrap somebody does, they'll try to pull it too tight and that's where you're going to get one that will bow a tendon off of one. And as you pull, if you're going to pull it snug, 
you need to make sure you're pulling it snug across the front, not across the back. And then again, if this is a horse with a surgery or a laceration, the point of our elasticon is to keep the top and the bottom of the wrap closed so dirt and debris don't get in it. So we're going to wrap our elasticon half over on our hair, half on our bandage, and that's going to keep it closed. Once again, this is not going to have any, the top part is not going to have any cotton under it. So you need to be really careful not to pull this tight because you have nothing protecting your tendons. And then I'm going to pull my bandage scissors out to cut my elastic on because it doesn't tear very easily. Same thing, we're going to go around the bottom. very loosely and I roll up to cover the top till we get to the vet wrap and if you feel like you need to to secure it you can go back low again and go over that first wrap and that's how you do a lower limb so now I'm going to go over taking this wrap off so with any wrap you do you typically start with your elastic on at the top. This is pretty easy to pull off because it's a fresh wrap, but normally after a day or two of it being on, it's going to get gunked up. You're not going to be able to find the start of it. It's a little tricky. Be careful because it is once again on your horse's hair, and if you pull it, they might not be thrilled at you. Always start with the flat end of your scissors. I always try to go for my brown gauze and my vet wrap. And the tighter you pull it, when you try to cut it, the easier it is. And that I've got a tear in this elasticon. Oh, I was gonna be able to tear it, but I won't. There we go. Just be really careful because this down here doesn't have any cotton. So you don't want to accidentally get him caught up in it. There we go. Now all the rest of it should just roll off. Just like that.